black. Moving down to verse 29, it says, if your right eye causes you to sin, gouge it out. Now, if we took that literally, none of us would have eyeballs left. And I want to make sure you recognize that there is different kinds of literature that are used within the Gospels. In fact, every single book of the Bible typically has lots of different kinds of literature even inside of it. So even though the Gospels, we spent a lot of time talking about this at the onset of, of the series, it's the genre is the Gospel. It's basically a biography of Jesus's life. It's a historical narrative. There is still different kinds of literary devices that the authors use. This is an example of hyperbole. And if you don't remember from English class in high school, that's okay. A hyperbole is a deliberate exaggeration. And it's done both in their culture and in our language, in our culture, for the sake of emphasizing something. So emphasizing the seriousness of being single-minded and single-eyed and single-handed in this commitment to your spouse. And so if you think about that in terms of um, what it might represent, if there is, say, for instance, an office romance, or maybe not even office romance, but maybe just someone that you are in the office with that you find attractive or you really enjoy engaging in conversation with, what he's essentially saying is don't allow that to take root in your life. Cut it off at, at, at the knees. If there's somebody that you find yourself attracted to and you are married to somebody else, cut that thing off. Don't spend time alone with them. Don't take private lunches with them. Don't go into meetings alone with them. And so essentially what he's talking about is protecting that marriage covenant and also protecting that relationship covenant that we have with God. If there is a temptation to read certain kinds of fiction books that are leading you down a path that you know is not God's best for you, that can be something that you need to just throw that book out. Stop reading those kinds of books or TV or whatever it is. You can kind of determine that in your own life. But but recognize, though, that this is not talking about plucking your eyeballs out. It's talking about doing away with things that are going to lead you to sin. 